Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we will talk about on how you can test and experience the latest Mac OS 26, that is Mac OS Tahoe, on your Mac without even touching your current stable version installed. We will be running Mac OS Tahoe on a virtualized environment, and for that, we will be using a tool called UTM. So before we proceed, first let's talk about the requirements. First, we will need a Mac with an Apple Silicon processor. Please note that this method does not work for Intel Macs. Then, we will need the UTM application, which you can download from their official website or the App Store. I will provide all the links in the video description below. You will need the latest Xcode 26 beta installer. We will download this from the official Apple developer website. And lastly, we will need the macOS Tahoe IPSW file. Now let's get started. So open any browser and go to the official website of UTM. Just click on the download button and save the DMG file to your desktop. As I have already downloaded all the required files, so I will skip the downloading parts. Next, we will download the latest Xcode 26 beta. So just go to this URL, sign in with your Apple ID and download the latest Xcode 26 beta. So just click here and save the file to your desktop. Next, we will download the macOS Tahoe IPSW restore file. Under the download URL, click on the download button and save the file to your desktop. All the IPSW files are saved on Apple servers. Once all the files have been downloaded, close your browser. Now, double click on the UTM installer file. Now drag and drop the UTM app to the applications folder. Once done, click on your launchpad and see if the UTM application is installed. Once confirmed, close the UTM installer and also eject the UTM disk. Moving on, double click on the Xcode 26 beta to extract the installer file. So this will take up a few seconds and then you will get this Xcode beta installer file. Now, just double click on the Xcode beta installer file to install it. So this is a very crucial step and without the latest Xcode 26 beta, you won't be able to run macOS Tahoe on a virtualized environment. Once installed, close the application. So this completes our downloading and installing part. We will now move on to creating a macOS Tahoe virtual machine. To do that, click on Launchpad and open the UTM application. Click on Create a new virtual machine. Now click on Virtualize. Under Operating System, click on Mac OS 12 Plus. Now here, you will need to import your IPSW file. Just click on Browse and select the Mac OS Tahoe IPSW file that you have downloaded above. Once selected, click on Open. Under Hardware, increase your memory to 8 gigs and leave the CPU processors to default. Now click on Continue. Leave the storage as default, which is 64 gigs, and click on continue. So this is the complete summary of your virtual machine. You can change the name of your virtual machine as well. So I will keep it macOS Tahoe by TechRichard.com. Once everything is checked, click on the save button. So with this, your macOS Tahoe virtual machine is ready. Just click on the play button to start your virtual machine. On this pop-up, click on OK. So now, your macOS Tahoe installation will begin. So this process will take some time. For me, it took around 5 minutes and then you will see the hello screen. Now we will begin with the post installation steps. Under language, select your preferred language and click on the next arrow. Here, select your country or region and click on continue. Under transfer your data for this Mac, select setup as new and click on continue. Under written and spoken languages, click on continue. Under Accessibility, click on Not Now and move forward. Click on Continue under Data and Privacy. Now here, you will have to create a Mac account. Just type in your full name, your username and your password. Once done, click on Continue. So this will take a while and your user account will be created. Under Sign in to your Apple account, you can click on Set up later. Accept the terms and conditions by clicking on the Agree button. 
If you wish, you can enable the location services and click on continue. Now select your time zone by selecting your location on the map shown. I will select New Delhi, India and then click on continue. Under analytics, click on continue. Under screen time, click on setup later. Now here you can enable or disable Siri. Once done, click on continue. You can now choose your look from light to dark. So since I prefer dark mode, I will select dark and click on continue. Under update Mac automatically, click on continue. Once everything is complete, you will see your Mac OS Tahoe welcome screen. So congratulations, you have successfully installed Mac OS Tahoe on your virtual machine. You can now test and play with the latest Mac OS 26 and see if it's worth an upgrade. If you like the Mac OS Toaho and want to install it directly on your Mac, I have shared a complete video tutorial that you can use. With that guide, you will be able to dual boot your current Mac OS version with the latest Mac OS Tahoe version. Moving on, this is your first look of your Mac OS Tahoe. To sign into your Apple account, just click on System Settings. Now click on Sign In and type in your account details. You can also check for software updates under General Settings. As you can see that we are currently running macOS Tahoe Beta 1. To opt for future beta updates, just click on the beta updates and turn it on. You will now receive all the beta updates here. You can also enjoy a macOS Tahoe in full screen. Just click on the full screen icon on the UTM app. Once the full screen is active, you can just swipe left and right and enjoy your both macOS Tahoe and your current stable version. So that's it for today. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to our channel for more amazing tutorials like these. I'll see you in the next 